mod. Okay, boys, let's react to World War II Eastern Front. I'm totally uneducated about this. Let's learn something here. Quick one. Germany had secured most of Central and Western Europe, with only Great Britain remaining defiant on the island. Look how the big Russia is. Isn't that mental? Europe was its formal ally. And it's crazy. As a European, I only know Moscow. I know there's St. Petersburg, Moscow, Crimea. What the f*** is in this area? Who lives here? Who lives here? I know nothing about this area. The military capabilities of the Soviet Union that seize its natural resources. Germany planned to achieve this goal by capturing most of the European part of the Soviet the Union Ark? before the onset of winter what? 1940. Is that Stalinline? No, that's not Stalinline. Arkhangelsk Astrakhan line. Never heard of them in my life. One. The main attack would take place in the center and be directed towards Moscow with oh, auxiliary attacks war, in the north. And the invasion was about to begin. Meanwhile, the Soviet forces were unaware of what was coming and were ill. With all respect to how did Russia and Stalin and his high command not know what's coming? Isn't there, don't they have like crazy spies, KGB and shit? Wouldn't they be like, yo man, Germany has like 1,000 tanks or a border, man? Prepared to resist the German invasion. They First, knew? So why is he saying the they weren't prepared? Sector. The Soviets had deployed he didn't want to believe it. Stalin didn't want to believe south, it. Uh. Having 1 million and 200,000 men Holy between the Pringle marches and the Black Sea. They were to be confronted by the army group south that was they knew two days the before the war. Strength. They the trusted them. Of the Axis troops Dude, read Sun Tzu out of war. You never trust anyone. The West. gathered their armed forces and met the German spearhead with a massive counterattack in the area of Dubno and Brody. Poor. But due to the lack of combat ready... Stalin had plans to invade Turkey with Hitler. So they fought their still buddies. I'd never heard of that before. They had plans to invade Turkey? Involved. It failed. And the Soviets lost most of their tanks. The German advance continued, like, the, the Soviets got fucked so hard in the beginning, and they the still in the won, man. That is unbelievable. From the exposed position. I always felt like if you are Russian, I think you shouldn't be proud of Stalin and the Soviet Union, but you can't be so proud of this achievement, man. And I think Soviets, uh, Soviets, I think Russians are very proud. They have like a day for that, right? Don't they have a holiday? I say this objectively, even though I'm a German, you know, you guys did something so heroic, man. You guys were about to be extinct man if the germans would have destroyed you they would have fucking killed all of you man or enslaved you man these people were literally fighting for ultimate survival ultimate survival but they were so close to being done losing and they still turned around man what a fucking achievement man. obviously it's not only russia but you have to you cannot you cannot debate here that russia sacrifice world war ii is the biggest sacrifice in all of world war ii and it's an unbelievable feat man the main spearhead now made a dash towards the east, and this made Soviet so obviously the Germans think were thinking, "Oh, this is the man." Was no, we're them like, like, like However, France. the Germans had stuck to their but original then plan winter came. and turned south. When the Soviets yeah, 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 realized yeah. the German intentions, Jesus it was already man. too late to withdraw their forces, and the Germans encircled and destroyed many of the Soviet formations near the town of Uman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Soviets now abandoned western Ukraine and retreated to the eastern bank of the river Dnieper. They deployed the first thousands and thousands and thousands of Russians dying, being captured, and, and still they the managed to fucking. At the same this is the time, line. operations were being carried out in the north, where one and a half million German soldiers from army groups north and center were facing a million Soviet soldiers. Oh, look at the these beginning numbers. of the invasion, the army group center was to encircle Soviet forces at the border, Ten and then million advance men. What is that number? towards Smolensk and Moscow. Meanwhile, Army Group North what a was large to war, man. The fucking organization, this shit. Threatening to trap the Soviet Must forces have. between them and the sea. On June 22nd, the Germans attacked. The Soviet Western Front was deployed forward, and during the first days of the war, the German forces encircled most of its formations near the towns of Bialystok and Minsk. In the Baltic, makes so much Soviet sense, right? That the Germans fought. Oh, this is easy. We're gonna win. They were totally they believing they got this. Which we can blame them, man. Everybody will think they're in this situation. But the Germans reached the river before them and pushed onwards, threatening the Soviet units in the west with encirclement. At the same time, Jesus. Army Group Center had finished encircling the Soviet Western Front and its infantry. If you see this right now, how you would think if this was a whole four game, right? You'd be like, okay, game over, GG, you won. But Russia, Russia still comes back. It's so fucking mind-blowing. Armored forces advanced eastwards, almost unopposed. 
the Soviets attempted to plug this the gap all four by deploying oh, this most all of their pre-war reserves to counter them, but it was not enough. And as the German offensive continued, wow. their armor broke through the Soviet lines and trapped these units near Smolensk. Fuck. By that time, the first wave of Soviet mobilization was complete, and the Soviets used these Russia formations wasn't to block properly. further German advance and attempted to free the encircled troops. However, the performance of these newly created units was lackluster. And so Germany already has like 500,000 prisoners after four days. To close it up and what eliminate. the fuck? The Germans had gained the upper hand in the central part of the front, and now they were faced with two options. They could continue the push towards Moscow immediately, or secure the flanks of Army Group Center first, and then continue the offensive eastwards. They decided to do the latter, and the armored formations of Army Group Center were sent to aid neighboring army groups. So this was like a mistake? During this time, battles had been raging in the north, where Army Group North had failed to pull out large encirclements, and their Jesus. progress was slowed down by the Soviet counterattacks and bad infrastructure. Nevertheless, they were making slow but steady progress, and after securing their left flank, they reached the approaches to Leningrad. When the help from Army Group Center arrived, they were able to perform the final push and cut off the land-based communications to the city. Further north, Finland had entered the war against the Soviet Union on June 25th, and the Finnish troops took advantage of the Soviet defeats by that, honestly, I didn't even know that. lost in the Winter War. I, wow, after all this years, I didn't even notice. I thought there was the Russian Winter War with Finland. They made white peace, and that was it for Finland. I didn't even after know Finland that, invaded. So that's why you guys got fucked after World War II and lost Kaljala. The, the even continuation war. Oh, the man. The Finnish and German troops attempted to capture the Soviet port city of Murmansk and cut the Murmansk railway in order to sever the Allied supply How many thousands of people Soviet are involved in this shit, man? However, their attacks became bogged down in the rough terrain short of their objectives. The front became static. Meanwhile, the other armored units of the Army Group Center were sent... Explain to me something. So... Russia invaded Finland in the Finnish Winter War, and they got fucked by, like, the fucking sniper dude and stuff. Then later, then later, Finland invaded Russia together with Germany. Later then, Russia and the Allies win World War II. They can do what they want. Russia invaded Finland to establish, I guess, a communist puppet or something. Why did Russia not establish their goals in Finland after World War II when Finland was beaten? Did the Allies not let them? But why will why will why will Finland switch sides? What Finland? You declare war on Russia and then you're like, oh fuck, we're losing. You switch sides. You're like the Italy of the North. The oh my God, I always suspected you Finnish people. I mean, I did that too. The German Another 84,000 POVs. They had a ton of reserves. This is blowing my mind how you can lose thousands and thousands, and thousands of soldiers and equipment and you still take. easily beat Germany after. I mean, not easily, but. To them, the armored formation crazy, of the armed group South had secretly crossed the Dnieper from the south into a German breachhead and now broke through. Like, this looks like Germany's completely wrecking it. Look at this encirclement. Most of the Soviet I mean, this makes you think this is over, right? 660. What? Teko, I never understood the proportions of this. Wow, Dude, I have nice. so much respect for Russia right now. How the fuck did you come back from this? Wow! Men were trapped in the pocket. When the pocket that is had mental. Been liquidated, after these operations, the flanks of Army Group Center were secure. It's the objective set in the beginning of the campaign, and they decided to go for more I don't know the unknown now. In order to reach them, they began a full-scale attack along the whole front. There was in the four million Soviet, Soviet POVs through the whole war. Wow. With the recent encirclement, and this allowed the Germans to trapping part of the Soviet forces on the coast of the Black Crazy, Sea. Man. Then they pushed I'm onwards so much and established now for their Russia. control over the resource-rich areas of the eastern Ukraine and conquered the Crimea and Peninsula, with Crazy, Soviets man. abandoning Odessa and clinging on to the port of Sevastopol. Jesus At Christ! At the same time, the German forces were pursuing their objectives in the north. Their goal was to sever the remaining supply route to Leningrad. Finnish forces. The initial they also advance got was successful and from reached the its first goal months. by cutting the railway line supplying the city. The main German effort was... If anyone will pull this off in, in Hoi 4 multiplayer, you will be the greatest player ever, man. Getting this fucked time, like this and still coming back? Ah, boy, you, and you're the greatest ever. Moscow ...and had deployed 1,250,000 mobilized troops to the sector. During the German operations on the flanks, they had even somewhat managed to push Army Group Center back to improve their defensive perimeter. But by the end of September, Two the German army had finally returned. When I was a kid, I thought the 2000 Urukai and Isengard were a lot. <laughs> ...and proceeded Nothing, to carry out actually. the new attack. Once again, 
near the towns of Vyazma and Bryansk, the but Soviet it's going troops so well were How do you lose? and this resulted in halving the Soviet strength. Another... Come on! Dude, you're fucking trolling me. World War II never happened. World War II never happened, man. We're being fucking trolled After here. reducing the pockets, the Germans closed their This is insane. To Moscow. Then they attempted to encircle Moscow with a two-pronged attack. But by that time, the long advance had exhausted their offensive capabilities and the weather had become severely and now they cold. Get stuck. The Soviets managed to halt their advance. Wow, and so although close. they didn't have large Jesus. superiority in numbers, the Soviet proficiency in winter combat allowed Dude, you guys them are like Zerklings, man. What the fuck? The Germans it's like were the forced to abandon their One guy dies, 10 more positions are around. the flanks and pulled back Jesus. in order to shorten the front line. During the retreat, they had to abandon some of their heavy equipment. At the same time, the German attempt to cut off Leningrad had Everyone also that. failed, and they had to retreat to their starting positions. I'm rooting for Germany. I'm not rooting Leningrad for anyone. Restored. I'm just in so south, in awe how the Russia comes was back from this. I'm actually kind of rooting for Russia. Am I not here? To abandon their forward positions in Rostov. Is there a shitty Italian unit? Okay. The first year of the war was over. The Soviets had stopped the Germans far from their initial wow, goals. Wow, I mean, but at the great as this one guy said, there was a German guy who said the vastness of Russia eats us. It's just too big, man. Fuck off. They went from me here to here and the it Germans doesn't even wanted mean anything. To use this window Crazy. Of opportunity and were they were bribing the ref. Their available forces to the Eastern Front to deliver a knockout punch in the following Jesus. year. 19 and this truly shows you that the Nazi high command must have so much believed in themselves. They must have been so arrogant at that, po that point. 42 would be the decisive and That arrogance, the man, would ultimately lead to the downfall. At 4.31 a.m., an unauthorized photo taken of Stalin inside of the Kremlin shows the very moment he was informed that Germany had begun their invasion of the Soviet Union. It was taken by Komsomolskaya, whatever, editor-in-chief. He was ordered to destroy it, but instead saved it. God damn. I mean, what, what must go through a human's mind in that moment? I mean, this is decisions you and me will never understand or never have to do. Like, fuck, man, imagine that. Yo, man, we're getting invaded by millions of Germans. If we lose, we're gonna get extinct. They're gonna fucking kill all of us. That must be fucking crazy, bro. The Axis invaded the Soviet Union, planning to overrun the European part of it before the onset of winter. However, the resistance was stronger than expected, and by the beginning of October, they had expended much of their offensive capabilities. Assuming that the Red Army was on the brink of collapse, they launched an all-out attack. The Soviet Union had still resources left, and the Axis forces found themselves overextended. The Red Army was seriously weakened, but it did not let the opportunity slip and counterattack with all though. available forces, forcing the Axis into retreat. He went to his house retreat. and stayed there alone for three days. In the Black Sea region, the Soviets Looks, undertook sounds like an really amphibious hidden, operation. Dude. They landed their forces in the Crimea, survived the Axis counterattack. I'm always so interested in that this is sounds weird, but I... Sometimes I wish I could put myself into other people's minds and, and know what something feels like. I'm a guy, I feel like we only live once and I will... I like experiences. What does it mean experiencing bad and good things? Also, another thing. What must... How must Stalin have felt like when they won World War II? What is... What What do you feel like, man? What does that feel like? That must be such a... made preparations to take the whole peninsula. That must be insane, In Ukraine, man. they pushed towards the Dnieper River and managed to gain ground before their attack was contained. Near Leningrad, the Red Army broke a breach into the German line and pushed into their rear, threatening to unhinge their front. The Soviets concentrated most of their forces against the army group center. After having pulled back from the approaches of Moscow, uh, the yeah, Germans yeah, decided to stand here. fast and regroup we... on their present positions. This Incredible. gave the Red Army a chance to conduct an encirclement of the German forces. Overextension had created several gaps in the German lines oh, and Red shit. Army exploited them Luke in Germany, order man. to I bypass think and cut off the German units. Despite of moving Look at behind that G the German man. lines, like they... one single guy. His name is Gustav. Look at him. He's just walking past them. They did not have enough strength to cut the main railway supplying the German forces, oh. and the Germans were able to cut off and contain the breakthroughs. In the north, the Soviets encircled the German Second Corps at Temyansk, but it was sustained by air supply. After realizing that it lacked the strength to conduct a major attack, the Red Army concentrated its efforts on the most promising <laughs> sections. However, have... by this time, the Germans had secured their the position, and the attacks oldest. achieved only that's insane. Progress. After having reorganized further, the Germans were able to conduct small offensives of their own in the most critical sectors. The Soviets were rebuilding the Red Army, but it would be far from ready by summer and the Axis would still have the upper hand. The Soviets believed the Axis would use this to undertake a major like offensive towards Dragon Moscow he and prepare to take a defensive stance. The question coming. was what to do with the many salients that had been formed in the front. 
they provided good opportunities for the encirclement of both the Axis and Soviet units and were difficult to defend. In order to conduct so a successful the defense, they would have to be eliminated. One option was to abandon the salients, was the other bad. was to destroy the Axis-held salients. Although it was not clear if the Red Army would have enough strength to do so, they decided to risk it. They would destroy the Axis forces in vulnerable positions and this would drain the strength from the main Axis attack. After the main attack was repelled, the build-up of the Red Army would have reached a level that would allow it to go on a major offensive. The yeah, Germans yeah, yeah. were indeed preparing to carry out a major attack. The Soviets had Comparing with the sector, previous year, their resources had decreased line. and they were unable to mount a large Barbarossa-style offensive. Instead, they planned to undertake several consecutive offensives in order to destroy the Soviet Union. As the first step, they would capture the Caucasus oil fields in order to deny the Soviet Union most of their oil supply and gain a long-term source of it themselves. This would allow the Germans to continue waging the war in full capacity. Next, Leningrad would be taken, and then the Murmansk Railroad would be cut, depriving the Soviet Union of its main sources of foreign aid. Meanwhile, That's so interesting, there was a railroad? And that railroad was so important, it got all the um, equipment to the while Russians. While in the center, the German forces would hold their forward positions why don't in order... Just, why don't you just send bombers, like send bombers and bomb the railroad? To provide a good it. springboard for an offensive. After the Red Army had been weakened by previous steps and the Axis had freed up their forces, they would occupy the main Soviet industrial base in they central came Russia. From Alaska Before and they during the air. main operations, the Axis would clear out as many of the contested just like in Hoi 4, never go to a war in Hoi 4 if you don't know you're going to be there. It's possible to free up more troops. The first Soviet attack was in the north, where they attempted to push the Axis forces back in order to increase the security of the Murmansk Railroad. But they failed to make any serious advances in the rough terrain and went on a defensive. The next operation was meant to destroy the most vulnerable German salient at Dimansk, but the Germans continued to hold on to their positions and their progress was minimal. The next operation was undertaken by the Axis. It's crazy how we in 2021 look at a video of funny the animations Crimea, and they realize the it's just people well for dying. Close air support. The Red Army had previously conducted several offensives and Dude, its look forces at that, were that, deployed. That isn't a fucking Zorkling rush, man. You tell me, bro. What the hell? Thank you, Woofie. Forward, um, lacking the, the depth to contain the Axis breakthrough. The Soviets were unable to stop the Axis advance and, and had to abandon the peninsula. Like in <clears throat> Ukraine, the Soviets like had finished their preparations first and went on the offensive attempting to take Kharkov with a two-pronged attack, the, the Axis forces operation. were not far behind in their Karkov deployment, was my favorite and five days after the beginning of the Soviet attack, they went on an offensive of their own. Holy the Red shit. Army did not anticipate such a move, and the German units managed to cut off the attack the Soviet still... troops what? and destroy them. This in the north, near mind. Leningrad, the Soviets were unable to fully exploit their brain. Anyone at this point will bet their money on Germany, right? Having money. realized the vulnerability of their position, they decided to evacuate the salient. However, the Germans beat them to it and cut the neck of the salient. During the next month, the encircled Soviet forces were eliminated. These numbers don't even in the matter. center, both the Soviets Germany and the Germans make a hundred were million their own right now. It doesn't matter. As the German operation this is was insane. on a smaller scale, it was ready first and they proceeded to clear out the pocket south of the railroad. Soon, they had full control over the territory, although part of the Soviet forces managed to escape and reach their main lines. After having regrouped their forces, they turned against the northern salient. They cut its communications with the main Soviet front <laughs> and pushed oh, into on. it, eliminating most of the yeah, Soviet this, this, I feel like this destruction is not of the Red Army formations behind the German lines forced a change in the Soviet plans, and their offensive in the center was postponed. In the south, the failure of the Kharkov offensive had left the Red Army in disarray and the Germans decided to exploit the opportunity. They conducted two smaller attacks, but this time the Soviets pulled their forces back and oh, did not now. offer strong Only resistance. 24K, hey. The amount of prisoners <laughs> taken was limited. Now everything was ready to carry out the German plan to capture the Caucasus. As the first step, the Axis forces would encircle and destroy the Soviet formations on their southern flank. Then they would advance and take strong defensive positions along the Volga and Don rivers to cut the communications between the Soviet heartland Here and the go. Caucasus. This would the, the Axis this? forces in the south from the main force of the Red Army. As the third step, the Axis forces would move into the Caucasus and take over the oil fields. The first German attack reached the Don River as planned. The Soviets expected that they would turn north towards Moscow and deploy their reserves conducting a counterattack from this direction. In the south, 
the Raid Army began to withdraw to avoid encirclement. Another because the German plan was founded on. on the assumption the previous year, like, they were now the confronted with the possibility of Soviet forces escaping the encirclement. They altered the plan, sending the forces immediately to the south in order to catch the Russia Soviet units. However, the Soviet formations the further south joined the retreat, allowing most of them to escape the encirclement. By this go, time, man. the Soviet command <laughs> had understood the German intentions and had deployed oh, their strategic crazy, reserves to keep man. the axis away from the Volga River. Meanwhile, their other forces retreated south Jesus. over the Don. During that time, the Germans had also captured Sevastopol, and when it was clear that the Caucasus direction was like any German general right now in real life must have been like, oh man, we got properly this. covered, they sent the freed up forces north to take Leningrad. In the central part of the front, the Germans were finishing the preparations to destroy another Soviet salient. But before Germany that, the Red Army had finished these. deployment and commenced its offensive against the army group center. The Germans reinforced the defenses and then attempted to cut the southern Soviet salient with weaker forces, but were unable to. The terrain in the area of the Soviet attack was not suitable for their use of heavy weapons and the main brunt of the fighting fell to the infantry, which suffered heavy casualties. Despite pushing the Germans back, Crazy they were unable to destroy their forces. Two Limited attacks continued Great for grandpas. a month more, but they failed to secure more territory. In the north, Actually, free. the four, Germans four planned to grandpas. use reinforcements from the Crimea to cut off Leningrad. In addition, two they planned to undertake died. several operations in, in order to it's improve in the, their defensive positions. The Red Army was meanwhile preparing to re-establish the land connection to Leningrad by pushing through the thinnest strips it's of over. the German we'll just let territory. The, plan go the Soviets go to attacked the first and the Germans had to use the reserves to repel them. The defense tied up their forces and they lost the time they needed for the encirclement of Leningrad. In addition, they could spare enough troops only to widen the neck of the Demyansk salient. In the south, the Axis had failed to destroy the Soviet formations opposing them, but in the same time, the quick retreat had thrown the Soviet forces into disarray, putting them in need of reorganization. <laughs> Look at Meanwhile, these two Italians just fucking making pizza in the background. Axis man. troops were left unscathed. The Germans decided to solve the situation by not allowing the remaining Soviet units to reorganize and moved immediately towards the Caucasus, while the other part of their forces would secure the flank. The Soviet Such forces a huge continued war, their retreat until they reached the Caucasus Look mountain. at all the success there, Germany they made had. a stand and dug in and on the still, bottlenecks. It does not in the matter. north, the Germans used the open steppe terrain to outmaneuver the Soviet reserves and moved slowly towards Volga. Here we by go, the end baby. of August, they had reached the river and entered the Here city of Stalingrad go. and began to Battlefield slowly clear out the city. In the Caucasus, the German Alpine troops traversed the mountain passes, but they lacked the strength to reach the sea and were stopped on the southern slopes. During the following months, the spread out Axis forces continued to make small gains. Although the Axis had made serious advances, they Look were unable this... to deliver a crippling blow to all the Soviet land. war effort and decided to complete their objectives in the next year. They anticipated that the Soviets would have enough strength for a winter offensive in one sector and that they would attempt to destroy the salient in the central part of the front. The Germans countered the threat by deploying their reserves. Meanwhile, in the south, the Axis forces attempted to improve their positions as much as possible before the onset of winter. They tried to cut off their Red Army units in the Black Sea coast, but they could not break through the hills. In the Central Caucasus, the Germans caught the Red Army off balance and moved deep into the hills until the Soviets redeployed their units. I After I that, the coming of the winter snow red, put an uh, end to the offensives in the you Caucasus. Can't take the By the Volga, the shit. Axis forces had advanced steadily during the last months National and in the middle of November, the they were in the process of removing the last Soviet presence in Stalingrad. They were not expecting a major attack in the south, and instead of creating a defense in depth, the forces of the Axis flank were deployed offensively, concentrating in the east at the you point of... You know what scares me at this picture? You know what scares me here? This right here. If this was multiplayer, this right here would scare the fuck out of me. And I think I know what's about to happen. Effort. In this situation, the Soviet breachheads over the Don were considered of secondary importance and were covered by Romanian forces, who lacked anti-tank equipment and were not keen on fighting. Contrary to German estimations, the Raid Army had the forces to conduct two winter offensives. They had deployed their second force in the south to make full use of the Axis deployment in this sector. The Red Army managed to achieve surprise and overran the Romanian forces opposing them. Then they broke into the undefended Axis rear. This is the moment where Germany is in team speak like, Romania, what are you doing, Romania? Of their forward units. Next, mm. they had planned to reach the sea and cut off mm. all the Axis forces in the Caucasus wow. region. However, some wow. of the Red Army forces had to be diverted Dead to repel the German attempt to leave the Stalingrad pocket and the advance aye, 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 aye. to the full extent. 
The year in the South ended with the Soviets crushing all Axis hopes to sustain their forces in the Caucasus and Stalingrad and were threatening to advance into Ukraine. At the same time, the Red Army was attempting to cut the German salient in the center. The Germans had deployed their reserves and were prepared for the attack. The Soviet attacks were met with staunch defense, and where they were able to penetrate the German defenses, they were thrown back by counterattacks. The Soviet offensive failed to achieve its objectives, and only in the Western sector did the Red Army achieve some success. Thus, 1942 came to an end. The Soviets had secured the oil, and now the Wehrmacht lacked a proper Guys, plan to, to get defeat a new the Romania. Soviet the one we have now is new. The Soviet forces were moving west. I, 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 I obviously knew about this war. I mean, I already seen YouTube comments. At the same time, I the Germans thought Tommy knows more about this. I know. But this video gave me such a different feeling of, of the, the perspective, man. There's another question. How could I can make total sense that Germany fought the Gaitas, man. Obviously, at this moment, you would all think that. And I would like to thank them for their support. Praise, man. A big shout out to the guy, man. If you want to help the channel. Uh, give a like man this is the video the show like here to the video this is my boy east ea story do i need to buy dlcs to watch more videos what the fuck show him some love man Fucking here or some sh i don't know where should i put you where you guys want to go whoa are you dizzy are you dizzy funny joke man i'm the funniest dude they ordered a full you can totally see what my issue was in my game that i play right now it's just too wide you need so many people to stay on this front line. It's so much. It's just so much. The region where their forces in the north kept just the path of retreat right open. Their lightly equipped forces were unable to there cope the line. There was Italians there. Forced into a harsh well, winter no, that's Hungarians. Most There's some Italians, but they're just all getting wrecked. Or were yeah, this is the end of it. A large gap oh. in the Axis lines. The German units in the it, north. It truly all... feels like that one axis pov was worth 10 russian povs like they took so many russian prisoners but they russia didn't care <laughs> whatever also to retreat but like if but they, they get 60,000 lost their in battle worthiness intact at the same time the germans managed to pull back part of their forces from the caucasus the remaining ah, troops fuck. formed a breachhead on the coast You're done. this is this is where the for i'm like ah, i might leave <laughs> i might be done during january both sides had their full attention set on the southern sector the lack of the German reserves allowed the Red Army Look how to achieve two small is, man. but significant victories. That's they re-established a land connection to Leningrad, and in the central part of the front, they captured the railway junction of Venetia. Stalin's Luka. son got captured, and the he Axis, didn't care. The situation in the south continued to deteriorate. The German troops in Stalingrad surrendered, freeing up significant numbers of Soviet units. Mm. The Red Army forces moving west into the Ukraine were not very formidable, but the large gap in the Axis line... I've always dreamed about a new Stalingrad game. When I was a kid, in Call of Duty 1, there was a big Stalingrad map, and that map gave you this feeling, you know, it wasn't arcadey. The Stalingrad map in Call of Duty 1 wasn't like, bam, 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 oh, I'm dead, respawn, respawn, bam, bam, bam. It was really, you spawn, and then you slowly go from house to house and if you get shot you have to walk back there for 10 minutes man I, I i i miss a game like this where you have a stalingrad multiplayer battle i don't know 64 versus 64 or whatever but it's a very long one it's not arcadey not bam 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 respawn oh fucking nukes just really step by step you have yeah, to fight for every street man the soviet command decided Red to exploit this opportunity a new one, a new one. attempted to cut off what, almost under? all of the army group south in response, the Germans used the forces retreating from the Caucasus to extend their front yeah, eastwards. All these Russians, there's so many men. The Red Army moved further oh, west to wipe their line and encircle them, but this overextended their forces. The Germans so countered on two sides and disorganized their forward detachments. Having caught the Soviet southern flank off balance, the Germans now wanted to push in both from north Post and south at the same up, time, man? destroying the whole Soviet force. They began to muster their units for the northern attack. In the south, their troops continued onwards, retaking Kharkov. And on the other hand, the you north, have to handle D-Day, man. Have fun, man. You've done it. for the attack, though they were able to stop the Red Army's advance. By this time, both the Soviets and the Germans had exhausted... Makes you wonder what would have happened if there was never a D-Day. I, I guess you know, you guys know about that, but I would think Russia still wins. But then all of Germany is fucking communist. Forces deployment. And yeah, all and of Europe becomes communist. Or lots of it, goals. lots of it. Being confronted with a much stronger German line, the Red Army abandoned its offensive plans and the Eastern Front became quiet. 
So D-Day was also very important for the future, in a way, right? To not let Europe, I mean, we're already talking Cold War here, uh, become fully red. Imagine Soviet Russia would have not just East Germany, it would have all of Germany as a puppet. You would all, you would have all the Western industrial power. With that would have really benefited communism as a whole. The Axis had lost the capabilities necessary to knock the Soviet very interesting Union out how of the always by capturing the areas vital for These small war. decisions, I mean, not small now decisions, to win through attrition by make such a huge difference in the entire world. And inflicting vast casualties to the attacking Red Army. In this way, they could drain the areas remaining under the Soviet control, dry up resources and create a stalemate. The Red Army, on the other hand, set out to take back the economically vital western lands of the Soviet Union, which would give it a strategic advantage. However, this time they would play it safe. Their previous offensives had been threatened by the German armored counterattacks, and this time they decided to receive them on prepared defenses. At the same time with building up the fortifications, the Red Army formed a massive offensive Bruh, force. Of dude, how do you still have 7 million dudes, man? If this would happen before, I'd be so mad. How the fuck? You cheater. You're cheating. Defense strategy. This the is literally the concept of war game we have right now. But my enemy has more than 6 Soviet million. Forces uh. ...and shortened their defensive line. The most promising of these was the encirclement of the Soviet units in the Kursk salient. It took three months for the German build-up so to many match people the involved. gradually improved Soviet defenses totally and in the beginning of July they launched their attack. The Germans made some headway but were ultimately stopped dead in the depth of the Soviet defenses. Having for the time tied up the strongest German armored units, the Red Army now released its forces for the offensive. The attacks were to oh, be carried out such, in consecutive stages along several sectors of the front. First, the Red Army struck into the rear of the German troops north of Kursk. Being unable to contain the attack and wishing to end the process of evacuating the salient. At the same time, the, the Red Kursk. Army launched an attack that is a map in the many south. Video games. The Germans redeployed Quite their forces for and example, contained yeah. it. By this time, the Soviet units south of Kursk had finished reorganization and pushed towards Kharkov. The Germans redeployed their Kharkov forces was also to the sector, but they did not succeed. Call of Duty 1 for though me. succeeded in temporarily containing the Soviet advance, Fuck. the situation in the north was more under the German control. The Red Army failed to break through the German defenses. Soviet offensive near the sea broke the German line and forced them into a large-scale retreat. Bah, you guys are Even fucked, more, the man. concurrent offensive against the lightly fortified German you positions in the former Western This is kind of where we played Kursk in um, resulted in a breakthrough. Still, the two, the campaign, you remember? Contain. In they Gobel. now realized that they lacked the troops necessary to contain the Soviets in their Russians, prison man. line and ordered a retreat to a much better defendable Panther Wotan position that was Panther centered Wotan. around the Dnepr River and its tributaries. At the same time, the Soviet breakthrough near Smolensk hastened the retreat of Army Group Center. With the German forces taking a stronger defensive position, the Red Army had to concentrate its main effort on a shorter section oh, of the fuck. They decided to make regaining Western Mu- but, but, uh, I wonder how Hitler and generals must have felt here. Like, for, for months, for, for years, you only get good news. Oh, we, we did France. Oh, easy. No way. Pfft, easy. Everything. And then for the first time ever, someone is like, Mein Führer, we're getting fucked out of... Dude, well, how must he... He must get fucking nervous, man. He must get fucking first, nervous. First, however, we'll take a look at the central part of the front. You're where shitting the your ass. Because the these guys, the that's the thing. And I fully... I kind of understand that these Russians are not coming to make peace, man. You try to make these Russians instinct, and they are mad, the dude, and they're coming the for you, man. Just paradrop Moscow. Battles Tell were fought me, in order to through. secure the breachhead. Meanwhile, the other forces began creating a breach in the northern part of the front. The Red <laughs> Army had established several breachheads over the Dnepr in Ukraine. After they had got their heavy equipment over the river, I'm just they very nervous about the two for my breakouts, stomach. I hope I'm first fine. First of which took place in the I south. Already feel pain. The Germans were able to contain. Ooh, and you're done. GG. Then the Soviets broke through oh, the German oh, yeah. oh, line, the severing their connection with the Crimea. They proceeded with another breakout attempt near Kiev, but the Germans and now I can stop showing you where, where, where my great grandpa died. One I know, not the first one. Succeeded in the breakouts, the Red Army adopted a more systematic approach, oh, slowly but surely expanding its breachheads and massive. But as a German, I just breakout. be. Bye. In the center, the Red Army was now better prepared, which allowed it to increase the pressure. It resulted in a breakthrough in the north. The Germans had what a crazy achievement though by the Russian army, man! What an achievement overcoming all this. Off. Then the Soviets launched their main attack from the southern bridgehead. It broke through the lines and gained limited success, though it Crazy. failed to achieve its objective. The Germans were able to prevent a deeper breakthrough by abandoning Whoa, territory man. and pulling back their front line. 
As 1943 ended, the Red Army was ready for the winter offensive, which would encompass the whole Wait, Soviet German front. Wait, they're doing offensive now? They already attacked Ukraine, all the time. the Germans had concentrated their defenses in the Great Bend. Oh, you guys are outnumbered, boys. This allowed the Red Army to catch them this off balance Stankers, no, Russia. by mounting a breakout from the Kiev breach. In a way, right? You see all the fucking shitty 20 whiffs that are just useless and want to do uh, anti-air damage, and then you have the tank Germans divisions. managed to contain Kinda, their advance yeah. only with great difficulties. They wanted to keep their last position near the Dnepr River as a staging area for a possible counterattack. Nah, there's no more counters, my dude. Despite the evident threat, the Red Army exploited this by cutting the salient off with a two-pronged attack. The Germans and these launched guys a rescue are attempt in and were trouble, able to be part of the encircled forces, but without their heavy equipment. With the German attention directed towards the pocket, the Soviet forces launched attacks on the flanks threatening to sever the so connection overwhelming. between the army groups south and center. Meanwhile, Soviet troops were continuing with their attempt to encircle army group center itself. In the north, the Germans realized they lacked the force to cut off the Red Army's How does he even have all this information? Did he like the read it? Is there books about this? Uh, the Red Army now attempted to encircle very the town detailed of knowledge, Vitebsk, man. but it was not met with success. If the numbers are even correct, man, Most of crazy. the Red Army's offensive crazy assets detailed. were deployed in the south, and as a result, the goals of the Soviet forces in the center proved to be beyond the means to achieve them. The offensives oh, took shot. limited territory. This, is, this, the... this right here, this right here is where the campaign on Steel Division 2 starts. And I was almost, it was so much fun, but then it became super unfair. Price of this is where Steel Division 2 starts. And were eventually yeah. abandoned. In During Osha. the summer, the Soviet pressure on the army group North had not been as strong as against the other army groups, and the Germans had dispatched a lot of its strength to other fronts. Despite its greatly reduced strength, the army group had not withdrawn to the shorter line and still held its forward positions. Not the Red good. Army attempted to encircle part of the German forces during the winter offensive. The Germans evaded the encirclement and then attempted to resist on the new positions, but they I lacked the strength to do, do so, these Russians and it was look like zirklings, don't they? Line. Both <laughs> armies settled on the new line, and during the remaining part of the winter, the Red Army undertook only some limited attacks in order to probe the Thank German you, hi, defenses. Man. Thank you, man. The Red Army was planning to achieve its main success in the south. During the preceding half year, the Soviet forces were slowly but steadily consolidating their positions on the west bank of the Dnepr, and by the beginning of March, this process was complete. This right here, this is me in multiplayer when I played Romania. Like, the whole game, I designed a really, really good tank division or something, and I'm just staying behind. Like, I'm I'm gonna help, but I also don't want to die when you die, man. I'm the just German gonna stay Army behind Group a bit. The was by then pushed into the open plains and did not retreat behind any other natural obstacle, leaving it vulnerable. Oh, this makes me the nervous Soviets about playing to the whole army group back their forces, but in the west, the Red Army encircled several German corps. The Soviets made the mistake by expecting the Germans to retreat southwards, which allowed them to extract most of the German <laughs> forces back past. to their front lines. <laughs> then the Red Army captured the So this is where my first. This is where my uh, first of my great grandpas died. My grandpa in in Halle still. He told me his dad died here. The last operation. Of he the died in that. The first. Soviet Union had taken back its most economically valuable Went missing. lands they always and said gained the, missing. the resources it needed to defeat Germany completely. However, with the front being still more close to Moscow than Berlin, the question was, how long shall yeah, it take? Yeah, but it still looked so good. So here we go, man. Final Our video and then we play with four guys. The war had decisively turned against Germany. The Axis forces had been consistently pushed back and both from East and West, the Allies were preparing to move into Germany. The Western Allies had gathered their forces Here we to go, open the man. second front, and the Germans had prepared a large force. They intended to push the Western Allies into the sea and then uh, oh, concentrate uh, sorry, again sorry. on the Eastern Front. Sorry. There, the Raid Army had achieved a strong superiority and was hoping to finish the war in a two-stage operation. First, the German forces on the Eastern Front. It's just so crazy to me how Russia still has all these people left, man. After the, the losses of the first attack, Germany. after it's the Axis forces man. had been severely weakened, the Red Army would advance into Germany and take over its resources to wage war. As the first step, Finland would be knocked out of the war. Finland. Then the Red Army would encircle and destroy the German Army Group Center. After that, the Soviet forces would advance towards the Vistula River and the Baltic, which would result in cutting off the army group north. Finland. The German forces would then be pushed into the sea and destroyed. Finally, an attack would be launched in the south in order to seize the Romanian oil fields. These operations would destroy most of the Axis military capabilities on the Eastern Front and clear the scene for an attack into Germany itself. 
GG. Back in 1941, the Finns seized forward defensive positions on the Soviet territory, and since then, the northern part of the front hadn't seen much action. The Soviet plan entailed encircling the Finnish forces on their forward positions. Finland, pretty big and army, man. Finland, to the death of the country without much resistance. Gotta take that serious. The first attack on the Karelian Isthmus pushed the Finnish forces back, but they were able to escape the encirclement and conducted an orderly retreat. The Soviets launched an offensive in the east. <laughs> this, uh, I just always see Hoi Forn here. Like you play Finland, uh, like back in the day when Hots of Iron just came out and there was no re rules in multiplayer, you would often see Finland's trying to kill Russia's. And you will play Finland and Russia's coming for you in the Finnish war. He fucks it up, peace deal, and then you're like, ah, oh, I'm gonna get you, man. And Finland attacks Russia because he wants payback. And then this happens and you're like, oh, here too, the can Finns we just were able to uh, pull their forces back I can be a communist too, man. Defensive line. Don't kill me. By this time, the focus of the Red Army had changed to the central part of the front and they couldn't spare forces Tampere. Isn't for Isn't this where Tampere from? In Finland. Tampere. Thus, armistice was signed in September and Finland was able to leave the war with fewer concessions than could have been possible. Ah, With then they Finland peace. leading the war, the German presence in the north of the country became untenable. Using the rough terrain to their advantage, they conducted a... So, so now this Finnish division is attacking the Germans? Like, literally, Order 66, the Germans stage here. Retreat, that was part of the agreement for Finland Army to get out of the war. Could be attacked from the south and north well, clever by the Finland to save themselves, I guess. And Soviets I the same. had created two large concentrations of forces. The southern attack would be more dangerous for the Germans, and they directed all of their attention to that sector, thinking that the northern one was a ruse. This allowed the Soviets to achieve a total surprise. They attacked the flanks of the army group center. The German forces were forbidden to retreat, and many of their units were encircled near the original forbidden front. Forbidden to retreat, their man. Southern forces were now you see how the German high command just goes mad. were also eventually trapped. The Red Army advanced towards Minsk with little opposition. The Germans were unable to pull their remaining forces back in time and they were encircled east of Minsk. Jeez. With half of the army group center's strength being destroyed, the Red Army's advance They're kind of getting blitzkrieg themselves, huh? One opportunity to stop the Soviet advance was to pull back part of the army group north and counter-attack at the flank of the advancing Soviet forces. Due to strategic considerations, army group north stayed in its position. 100,000 people it was gone, man. They, to that is Soviet advance by redeploying so devastating. Units from other sectors of the front. With their main focus in the west, there were no ready reserves in the east. It would take time before the Germans could gather a large enough force for other sectors of the eastern front. When the front had moved far enough west, the Soviet forces in the south joined the action. They had built up an especially strong concentration here, and the Germans were unable to stop it. After achieving this is now where my other great grandpa, something I was more connected to, like the grand, the dad of my mom, my grandpa, my mother's side, I was very close to. He's right here. His dad died now in one of these villages. A grenade hit him in one of these villages. Divided into two. I even remember his one face. We have a picture from him with somewhere. Securing beachhead over the Vistula River for a future offensive. And, and here, dude, I even. This could even be. You see this calf here? You guys remember the stream where I um, was reading letters of one of my great grandpas, and he was part of. Uh, he was in a cavalry division in Poland. This could literally be the one where the letters are from. If you remember my stream where I read the letters, the army there's a high center. chance my ancestors in this thing here right now. Finally, gathered a reserve force of armored units and could start. And he died up. August, I think. Oh, I don't remember. What was on the letter? I even have the letter with the Nazi uh, death letter. The letters were from this year. I think August. I don't know though. And the letters, as I, it's in a video, but I don't remember which one. There you go. The letters, what was so interesting about them, it was him writing to his wife. Oh, I love you. I'm coming back soon. And what was so interesting, this is very interesting. This is uh, real information from real people that were in there. Is in these letters, it showed that they still believed in a win easily. Like, he was always writing, oh, this is over soon, don't worry. I mean, they're already at this stage here, and they, you really saw this man fully believed in it. Oh, we're going to be fine, don't worry, I'm home soon, yeah, yeah. There's the video. Oh, so what, when did he die? I haven't looked at it myself. I haven't read it. Stuff by Kingdom. This was given to you here by... Here you go, that is, that is the real, that is the letters. That... To gather sufficient wait, let me, let me, wait, 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 wait. However, when their advance uh, continued, the Germans were the able to pull days. out of the salient. Old Tommy, the best Tommy, whoa, that hurts. Oh, get wrecked. 
and it now switched its focus to the south Jesus. and launched an attack towards the sea, catching the Germans off balance. Soon the Red Army reached the sea, cutting Army Group oh, North shit, off boys. from Courland, but yeah, they were done. unable to finish the German Dunkirk. forces off. I miss old the Soviet forces Come now on. extended their attack further south. So here, this calf here, does it... By your, um, like your uh, superior. Tapfer und treu. Okay, I want to read it. It's like very hard to read. Dude, he, the way he writes, look at this. This is a real soldier from World War II, right Germans here. He's right here right now. This is how people used to I don't even here. remember this, man. I want to actually listen okay, for a sec. I'm sharing this with the stream now. I don't know why I'm doing it, but let's do it. <laughs> As always, I never get any letters from you. And also your package, your, your kitchen package, like a package of food, has never arrived. I guess I will never get them anyway anymore. Once again, it became winter here. Whoa, now it gets crazy. Holy shit. That shows he believed in it. This is so crazy. Calm down, Tommy. Wow, Sensationalist. this is insane. Dude, this is life history on the Tommy K channel, man. This is some bullshit. This is, the, this is the real channel. Holy shit. I like old Tommy here too, he man. Says, this is crazy. Um, he's talking about very soon it will be string. And we and the great turn will happen. He says, Yeah, they believe in a great turn. Amanda. The great turn will happen, which showed he believed. Isn't that crazy, though? That a real that, that that blows my mind. A real human being was sitting somewhere in World War II writing this to his wife just so a bunch of monkeys in 2021 could read his shit. Isn't that isn't that insane? Imagine he's somewhere in heaven right now. He's like, what the fuck are these people doing? And the German army still winning. Like when he wrote that, would you ever think that it goes to a YouTube video? It's, it blows my mind. I feel good and I hope that all of you are also great, my loved ones. Greta had birthday on the 5th of March. Greta? I'm, I'm like... This is like what, my family. I didn't, oh, obviously, you never met these people. No idea oh, who they are. I hope I can soon visit you again. I think you got all my letters that I sent. I sent you three letters since January 20th. And I believe you got them. Since January 20th? Wait, so he already died now? I, I, let's keep watching. Because in the end, I, I look at the death letter. And some frost. And he literally says, he literally says... The frost will be gone soon, and after rain comes always peace. Wow, he literally says that. that yeah, I remember, man. He he writes like the frost is gone soon, and after rain always comes peace and sunshine. While he's getting fucked after up by Russians, man. Peace and sunshine. Still believe in winning, man. Damn, I'm gonna put that in my. Dude, look at these arms. What the fuck? Shit. Jesus. Oh, okay, where's the wait? Is that all? Wait, I'm done. I didn't look at the death thing. Oh, that's oh, I, I thought we could see the exact date so I could literally show right here where my great grandpa died. Um, uh, I can't. Solid front and the I think it was in some down. cavalry bullshit or some Sober shit. Marked the end of the Red Army summer campaign in the north and I used red tank top the a lot, still, man. I used it yesterday. Preparation for the second phase of their plan, the invasion of Germany. During the Soviet I will make new video. My uh, it's at my mom's place though. The letters. Oh, here we go. The Western Front. Get fucked. The Germans had deployed their forces along the French coast. Only one million compared to the, the East, right? Landings. Nothing. With their forces, Tommy used to be cool in 2018. Says cocaine, which the nuns are unable to deny the Allies. At least I was cool once, unlike the Germans you. Combined their troops here we go. For bye bye. The the sea. However, they ended up only having Actually, again, this gives me perspective. What a great achievement by the U.S. Doing this push, you just saw how Germany put so many people here. They're really reinforcing it, and they're still easily winning. For most of June Good job, July, by the Allies, man. The Allies are able to take advantage of the defensive river positions in northern France and bye bye, the Allied GG. advance only in the hilly terrain in front of the German border. The Allies began preparations to carry their advance into Germany itself. As the Allied forces were breaking out of Normandy, done, the Soviets were about to begin the final part of the plan. An attack against the Army Group South. During the summer, more and more forces were diverted from the Army Group South in order to deal with the crisis in the center. Despite that, the Army Group had retained right, at this point, you, you can in just front of the river lines. hide in a bunker somewhere. In late August, the Red Army launched its offensive on the southern part of the front. 
It took advantage of they the always get so easily encircled, man. And managed to encircle like, just walk. I mean, this is supposed to be infantry. Just fucking walk, man. What are you doing? Part of the German forces was neutralized. The Romanian switch? With the Allies and soon declared war on Germany. Oh, the Jesus. Red Army now moved south on the post. I must add that though, because Germany was never the friendly to them, right? It was just, oh, Germany's However, killing everyone. We better fucking join them or we're fucked. Along the plains to it's like a tyrant in your After faction, you know? It's not like you're loyal. To this them. country too joined the war against Germany. The king imprisoned Antonescu. In the Carpathians, the Germans were now joined by the Hungarian army. Well, the, the Germans know though that the Romanians are no threat. I mean, we saw it in Russia. The range. There's However, an uprising in, in, in time, Slovakia. And with the help of the Romanian units north of the mountains, the Red Army was able to cross the passes into the Hungarian plain with little opposition. Now, Dude, the if you've been a soldier in, in this war, the fucking things you went through. You know, in video gaming, you play one map. These people play fucking a map every day. For years. Infinite fucking yeah, gameplay, man. These forces they must have been through attack. so much shit. The, no the defection of Bulgaria and the Soviet advance into Hungary threatened to cut off the German occupation force in Greece. This area wasn't considered important by the Red Army. These are questions I have. What did the 68 Infantry Division do? That This is questions I have. They're chilling in Athens all day. They must be just doing vacation, you know? Women, wine, restaurants, blah, blah, blah. They must have just been it's once in a while suppressing rebels, man. They must just fucking have the chill time. Dude, does anyone have a link? I want to read about them right now. 68 infant, whatever that is. Does anyone have a Wikipedia link about them? And they whatever. I wanted to. Local formations. What is the life of By a garrison October, soldier like? You know, what do the they Soviet do all day? Was complete. They were able to deny the Axis the Romanian oil supplies, deal heavy damage to army it's groups. 60, not and, 68. South, and while they were unable to destroy the army group north, it was. There was actually a German guy that said that he could speak Greek, but he couldn't. He traveled through Greece to spot out the country for the army, but actually just had a huge vacation. He painted and wrote a book about it. <laughs> Trapped in Corland. <laughs> That's what Germany I'm talking about, itself man. was now vulnerable to an invasion. The forces in the north would undertake large-scale preparations. While Dude, look the how big this front line is. That is so crazy, man. During December, the Soviet forces slowly moved to encircle the city, and after its they did what the the main do, eh? axis front had been cut, began a costly operation to clear the city of the defenders. With the northern part of the front still quiet, the Germans. I'm always so interested about these these city names. Trepreshen, Sujet, Subot. I never heard of that shit in my life. Like Graz, Bratislava, sure. But this video has showed me so many but cities I've never heard of in my life. And attempted to re-establish the land connection with the Budapest garrison. In the following month, they achieved some progress, but were eventually unable to reach the city. In the last months of 1944, most of Soviet forces were preparing for an offensive into Germany, and the fronts were relatively quiet. Oh, you're quiet. done, man. You're the Germans done. misinterpreted this mm -hmm. as a sign that the Red Army had exhausted it. Press GG on the They four, man. forces west in their last hope bad. to inflict a decisive defeat on the Western Allies by encircling their forces in Belgium. However, the, the, the attack bulge. was fought to a standstill in the Battle of the Bulge, they tried, and the Western Allies nope. began to push Denied. the Germans back. With their reserves used up, there was little that could be spared for the eventual battle for Germany. Isn't this where N6 starts? I front. think so, yeah. During yeah. the pause in the fighting, the Germans this is where had an yeah, opportunity true. to evacuate their forces this is where from Poland, starts. but they true. decided to keep them there. So, after the Western Thanks Allies had been it? defeated, they would be Thanks able to use the Poland position to conduct an encirclement. Now there wasn't much up This is actually what I tried in NC. <laughs> in January, the Soviets were making Some final preparations for their massive attack in Just kidding. The offensive began in mid-January. The weak German defense in the south and center was pushed aside. In my I was a chase like this, I would just retreat so far and establish a really, really good defense line. Russia and was it's like the only chance left. As a result, the central force outran the northern, and its flank was becoming increasingly overextended. Yeah, but the Germany's Germans done threw at this all point. of their forces you can't east take to halt the Soviet attack. After the Soviet forces had reached the Oder River in front of Berlin, they had to make a decision whether to keep moving towards the capital of the Reich immediately and risk encirclement from the flanks, or to secure you don't the have flanks to first anymore. and it's then good. continue the offensive from a better position. They decided for the latter option. With the Germans scrambling their forces and the Soviet is very hot. The developer even texted the me this quad and told me a tactic. A pace. I forgot though. In February, the Soviets expanded their flanks to the sea in the nice. north and to the mountains in the south and pushed the German forces. And my family. No, no, no. Not true. No, no, no. You can't see that yet. 
This delay allowed the Germans to re-establish a solid... No, 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 my... Oh, what was the story? My grandpa is alive right now and he Soviet lives right here. ...more time to continue their advance west. Meanwhile, the Red Army had cleared Budapest and had made preparations <coughs> to resume the offensive. By this time, the Germans had switched Actually, their focus how, back how on crazy how Germany had this many soldiers the in the field. They like one country the against the whole world. Berlin, yes, you have a bunch of help, but they're all the useless. Area where they could crazy how they could man so many people. And had sent their last panzer forces there to conduct an encirclement. The Red Army had learned of their plan and I have a story in a sec, I'm just waiting for a moment. I have a story for you guys. Offensive. The Germans were too weak by this time to conduct even limited offensives mm. and soon their attack was absorbed by the Soviet defenses. The Red Army then I mean, attacked and pushed they're the They're trying, man, but back, fuck, man, you them done, man. All captured Hide territory. somewhere. The Axis resistance was soon greatly reduced and the Soviet forces moved into Austria. After they had captured Vienna and secured their occupation zone in eastern Austria, the advance was stopped. With a large part of the German forces scrambled to the east, they lacked the troops to properly hold the Rhine river line. In mid-March, the Western Allies crossed the river in several places and moved into the German rear. They pinned most of their immobilized forces in place and then proceeded with an encirclement of the aye, German aye, troops aye. in the Ruhr area. Oh, I never even knew! Is there a name for this encirclement? Having neutralized a large part of that, the German that forces, encirclement, Jesus, the Allies man. spread that would be a big YouTube video. through North Germany almost unopposed. Damn. By mid-April, their forces had reached the, the Elbe River, the war line, oh, okay. dividing the areas of responsibility of the Red Army and the Western Dude, look at the race for Berlin. So at the close same to time, Texas, the Red Army destroyed most of the German forces left on the Prussian coast and deployed the freed-up units to the Berlin direction and moved directly towards Berlin. And then they shake hands. The In camp. Leipzig! Most of the German forces... So what happened? I wanted to sell, tell a story. Fuck, I wanted to tell a story real quick. Um, Right here, this is going in here, taking the... the the home of my grandpa, Spremberg. And many years later, when I was already in my 20s, my grandpa, my grandpa was a bit weird in the end. He had like depression and schizophrenia. And some years ago, we were with him and I always like ask about war and stuff, not too much. Like I'm just, uh, you know, want to hear stories and stuff. And he, he got a piece of paper out, uh, a piece of paper. And he said, well, I wrote down my thoughts and everything that I remember. I'm, and he always said, I'm going to die soon. So this is for the, the, the next world. And he just, we still have that paper. It's at my mom's. It's just a piece of paper where he wrote down what he remembers. And it's a story I don't know so much anymore. But they knew the Russians came. So they had to quickly get to the train station. And during that time, that's something people don't talk about a lot. A lot of people lost their nerve and went crazy like his brother i even met his brother i remember in life he was crazy for the rest of his life he couldn't handle this shit and they took a train over here into this zone and there was a family oh what was their names there was a family that took them in and for many years my grandpa and his wife my grandma have been great friends with this family because when they were kids they took them in and saved them from the russians they took a train here and then they weren't hiding here and they and and he 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 kind of explains how a lot of people lost their mind during that time because to them it was unthinkable what's going to happen. A very very dark time that fucked up a lot of people there. The Red Army wanted yeah, I'm not, to wait I don't want to excuse everything, right? In the city and move it's directly war towards all. Berlin, encircling the capital. Oh man, I, Most I, I, of the German forces I could get that one day that paper. The Hitler then ordered them to move into Berlin, but they were too weak and were only able to fight their way out west. Thus, the Raid Army was able to clear Berlin only in the... Blessed are the ones that are in the blue area right days. now, man. Soon, the Soviet forces made contact with the Western Allies. By that time, Germany had lost most of its territory, and with the loss of the capital, the last Axis forces on the Eastern Front were to surrender soon. Well, in the attack. last operation Would have been funny even if he is like, and then... The Soviet forces my grandma was like nine when the drums went to Netherlands, she's nine now and tells me about how they hit the Jewish families the in their cellar. During this time, the man, these people German went for so much both declared, sides, man. And and you that, and me, we have very good lives, you and me, man. We have to be very humble. These people went for love shit. World War II in Europe ended, and so do the series on the Eastern Front. Goddamn. Big shout out to him, man. I'm gonna link the video, man. Show some love to Mr. East... EA Story? East Story? I don't know. Great video, man. That was great. When you talk to people that okay. saw this war... You see how much pain is in their eyes and how unnecessary this all was. As I said before, all these wars are always by crazy leaders, man. It's just the leaders. She slipped in my fingers like sand. Heard that she had a man. Now I'm just sitting here sad. Oh well, shift sail. She slipped in my fingers like sand.
like sand. Further she out of hand. Now I'm just sitting here sad.